Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about anger management lessons from the Oscar slap. Yes, the slap that took the internet by storm. A few days back, Will Smith, the well-known Hollywood actor, went up on stage and slapped the comedian Chris Rock. And things went berserk. People started talking about it left, right and center. Some people spoke in favor of Will Smith while there were others who spoke in favor of Chris Rock. But today, I am not here to take sides. I am not here to pass any judgments. I am here to talk about the lessons that we can learn from this incident. The lessons that this incident teaches us about our anger. So, without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Lesson number one, anger can and will take us by surprise. Will Smith wouldn't have thought that he would go up on stage and slap Chris Rock. He got angry, he got into the heat of the moment and he just did what he did. He was not prepared for it. And there are several instances in life where something like this could happen to us also. I know for a fact that things like this have happened to me where I have gotten angry and I was not even aware of it. So, what we can do is be better prepared for instances like this. And one way of being prepared is by understanding our emotional triggers. Like for instance, in this case, somebody humiliated Will Smith's wife and that caused Will Smith to feel all these emotions, feel anger and just do the things that he did. So a thing that we can do is identify the triggers that we have, identify the events, the incidents, the people the situations that cause us to get angry and be better prepared when those incidents occur. Lesson number two, anger will make us do things. There is no other emotion like anger that has the capability to make us do things. Think about it. Will Smith was seated, but when he got angry, he got up. He walked a few steps. He climbed up those stairs. And then he went ahead and slapped the other guy. Anger makes us do things. Anger has this amazing power where, where we would do things that otherwise we would have thought that we were incapable of doing. So you might say that you are not capable of doing things like this. You might say that you would never do something like this to another person. But you don't know. You don't know yourself very well. Because if you get angry, there's a high chance that you lose your mind and you would do things that you would not have imagined yourself doing. Lesson number three, most of the things that you would do while you are angry would be stupid. Think about all the things that you have done in an angry state of mind. Think about the fights that you have had when you were angry. Well, think about this instance, the thing that Will Smith did. It's definitely not something that he would be proud of. It's definitely not something that you would look back and say, oh, wow, what a great thing I did. Anger very rarely creates a suitable outcome, an outcome that people want to see. Anger, anger very rarely does that. We need to be aware of this. So if we combine this with lesson number two, anger makes us do things. It has that capability. And most of the times when we are angry, we do stupid things. My take is that all of the things that we do when we are angry is stupid is not desirable, is something that we should avoid. If you have something, if you have done something good when you were angry in your own life, please leave a comment below and let me know. Lesson number four, we need to have a strategy to deal with anger. Anger is a very powerful emotion. It can make us do things that we would not be proud of. It can make us do things that we would look back and we would hold our head thinking what is it that we have done. So anger has to be dealt with. We need to make sure that we have a strategy to deal with anger. Whenever I am angry, I try my best to say as little as possible. I try to do as little as possible. That's my strategy. I, I don't know whether it will work for someone else or not, but this is my, my strategy. This is what I have devised because I have seen that whenever I am angry, whatever I do is counterproductive. I do things that are harmful to me. I do things that are not very pleasant in the long run for myself. One of the other strategies that I use is to identify triggers, identify my emotional triggers, events, situations, people 
and different kinds of things that can cause emotions to blurt out that can cause me to get angry i i try and identify these situations and when they are occurring i am aware that okay here it is i can get angry there is a possibility that i might get angry and by doing that i am better prepared for situations like this so does that mean i don't get angry no that's not the case it it could happen that i might be getting more angry than you but when i do get angry i have strategies in place which help me to deal with the situation better lesson number 5 be kind to other people now that we have understood that it's just a matter of moment and a matter of few words that can cause someone to get angry and do things that could be harmful we need to understand that we need to deal with people in a more kind manner the words that we speak should be uplifting they shouldn't be demeaning we should try our best to be as warm as possible when interacting with people because you never know the person on the other side might be just a statement away from getting angry and i know and i know we cannot take control of other people we cannot be accountable for the actions of other people but we can always be kind to others we can be kind to that person who steps on our toes accidentally we can be kind to that cab driver who's driving under speed limit but we have to get to the destination faster and let this incident which happened at a global stage be a reminder to all of us that let us deal with others with a little more kindness so in summary the five lessons are one anger can and will take you by surprise number two anger will make you do things number three anger won't just make you do things the things that you would do when you are angry would be stupid lesson number 4 we need to have a strategy in life to deal with our anger and lesson number 5 let's be kind to others i really hope that this video found you in good spirits i hope you took something away from this video if you did do press the like button and if you haven't done already hit subscribe until next time this is your friend john signing off